The painting we're looking at at the moment by Geoffrey Smart called Ramp by Factory was painted in 2000, the year 2000, and that was an important year for Geoffrey Smart. He was facing his 80th birthday, no longer a young man, and yet he still had in front of him another 12 years of work, uh, so he was by no means finished uh, at the age of 81, in fact producing work at the height of his powers, but he was also at that time undergoing the best uh, years of his life in terms of his popularity as an artist and the success of his painting. Uh, in the year 2000, the Art Gallery of New South Wales mounted a major retrospective exhibition which toured all the state and regional galleries around Australia and uh, was uh, welcomed with incredible success wherever it uh, opened. In fact, it's well known that the catalogue for that exhibition had to be reprinted several times and that the numbers of people who attended the auction, uh, the, uh, the exhibition, uh, exceeded all records. And uh, this is uh, something that Jeffrey Smart by now was almost becoming accustomed to. The, the place where Jeffrey Smart lived, his home at Arezzo, was in easy reach of many of the, um, the greatest museums that we know. The Uffizi uh, it was uh, probably only an hour's drive from there. And he was also able to uh, visit many of the small regional galleries in, uh, in the area in, in Italy, in Tuscany. The figures in this painting are a clear reference to um, his interest in uh, Della Fran Pio Della Francesca, and in particular, anyone who's familiar with the flagellation, the famous painting by Pio Della Francesca, will recognise the way this painting is composed. It has a vague suggestion of Italy. It's not really specifically anywhere in the world, but it's an industrial scene. We're accustomed to seeing uh, the trucks and uh, these uh, apartment buildings and the geometries of urban life in Jeffrey's paintings. Um, but in this painting, we also have some figures. And all of the elements that you see here, although uh, Jeffrey Smart's known for this kind of industrial uh, settings of his work, it's really more about uh, art rather than about the subject. So what he's doing here is creating uh, a com complex mechanism. It's almost like a Swiss watch, the way Jeffrey Smart produces his paintings, which comprises of shapes, volumes, which contrast, and here you have these smooth forms contrasting with organic forms. And then you have areas of color. The sky is a certain kind of gray color, which contrasts sharply against this yellow rectangle or this yellow <coughs> ge geometric form, which is in fact the fulcrum for the whole composition. All of the elements of this composition relate to each other and they do so in such a sophisticated way that you don't notice it. In the year 2000, when he, was, when he produced this painting, Jeffrey Smart is at the height of his powers. On Thursday the 11th of December, this painting will be sold by Menzies in Melbourne it has an estimate of $350,000 to $450,000.